second chapter. Lesson number 5. The various elements of your show, solid color. In this lesson, we will see how to add a layer of solid color type and its basic parameters. But first, why use a solid color layer rather than a layer of type image of uniform color? As for the basics, it would not matter. The effect would be the same whether you use one or the other. The usefulness of a solid color is felt in the use of memory and the rendering speed of the program, especially if you use a number. Indeed, in the case of a solid color, the program should not first watch the color of pixels in the image before starting treatment, he knows and therefore, it saves a lot of memory space, the memory size of the image, and the computation time and recognition of the color of it. Moreover, each image has a different encoding formats, so if you use a different type of picture layer, the more it slows the program, while for the solid color, a single data is needed to remove any treatment, because the whole image is the same color. Now see how to insert this into your show. Adding a solid color is the same as for all types of layer. Or, you click the plus, or, you click the tool icon, or, you made a right click in the area of layers, and you choose the option, add layer, and then you select, add solid color, in the context menu. When your order is complete, a trimming box will open, she was named, solid color layer. This window consists of three parts. The upper part is the preview screen of Yarn Layer. You can see its color and shape. Its creation, the solid color is white, and its size is equal to the size of your show. If you have opted for a normal HD format, you have a size of 1280 to 720 pixels. The second part contains information in Control Changer Layer. First, its color. You have a rectangular outline of it, and a command button, set. Click on it to open the color editor. This editor is the same for all the color editing control we have already seen in the lesson on the background. To select a color, you have three options. First, click the eyedropper tool in the top left, your cursor will turn into a pipette. Place it on the desired color, whatever the window, active or not, or the location on your screen. Then made a click. Color under your cursor will be directly attributed to your layer. Second, we have described previously, you can select the desired color in the color ring, then you choose the intensity and saturation in the central triangle. Finally, the third option, you can enter the color code directly in digital boxes, or in digital form, by choosing RGB 0 to 255 for the intensity of each primary color, that is, in red, green and blue, or in hexadecimal form, choosing the option HEX. This can prove very practical when using many of the different layer of the same color, it is enough to copy the same values, then it is virtually impossible to click again at exactly the same place in the ring and triangle color selection. From the choice of color set, click, set color, to apply it to your layer, and close the color editor. Just below, you have the trimming the transparency of your layer. This is the command opacity it is expressed as a percentage you can either directly enter the desired value in the digital box or be paid using the cursor trimming that opens as soon as you click on the digital box 0% your layer is completely transparent and therefore invisible you will notice that as in many programs invisibility is represented by a gray and white checkerboard 50% This web layer is semi-transparent. Select the desired intensity. Just to the right of the digital box, you have a counterclockwise arrow. If you click it, the value will be reset to its default value in 100% in this case. The third line is trimming the size of your layer. 
size is measured in pixels, not screen percentage. Remember, in normal use, a layer, whatever its type, always will be, to a size of 100%, equal at least one of its two dimensions, the size of your screen. The usefulness of trimming the resolution appears in the use of this type of layer as a mask. Then you can give the same resolution as the image, or video, for which you will serve, and therefore, do not need to perform approximate trimmings using the zoom control. Enter the desired values directly in two digital boxes. The first being the width and height of your second layer. Note that the minimum value is 35 pixels. We also recommend not to exceed the size of the show. This is completely unnecessary and lengthens the computation time for the creation of it. Like many control the extreme right of it, you have the anti-clockwise arrow allowing you to reset to the original value. Finally, below, you have two buttons to close the editor. First, OK, applies the changes made, and the second, cancel, ignore them and close the editor. Apply your changes and close the editor. When you close the edit window of your layer, changes details collected it, and it appears in the preview window as it will appear in your show. It has also been added to your list of layers under the name, solid, followed by a number. Here, 1, since it is the first and the only layer of your show. His name also appears in the box, selected layer in the type of layer, solid color. You can rename it using the command, rename, which opens a window allowing you to change the name of your choice, allowing you to know. For example, its use in the show. Enter the new name in the text box, then click OK to apply it to your layer, or, cancel to ignore the change. You can also make this change by making a right click on your layer in the layers area, then choosing the option, rename the shortcut menu. Under the preview of your layer, you have three buttons, browse, editor and info. You will notice that only the button editor is accessible. If you click it, it will reopen the edit window of solid color. Three windows, layer type layer setup, and notes, are identical and have the same utility as a layer of type image. The only exception in the box, layer type, you will notice that command style, template, and live image are inaccessible and ineffective. Indeed, this type of layer can serve as a base image for a style and is irreplaceable and also may be subject to a choice of image in real time, live image order. The command mask is unavailable at the moment because it cannot be used in combination with at least one second layer. We will come back in time. We shall see later, we can change the shape, contour, and many other settings through the tab, adjustment. In the next lesson, we will see the last type of layer, the color gradient, or, gradient. Thank you for your attention.